So welcome to my second video on changing a fraction into a decimal and a percent. Here in this example, we have the fraction 2 over 15. And the first thing I'd like to do is change a fraction into a decimal. Because by changing it to a decimal makes it much easier to then change it into a percent. So let's get started right away with this example. Once again, here we have the fraction 2 over 15. And in order to change this into a decimal, we need to use long division. So the fraction 2 over 15 is exactly the same as 2 on the inside being divided by 15 on the outside. And I always like to add a bunch of trailing zeros. So instead of 2, I'm going to write 2.00000. And the reason why I like to do this is because you need to keep on dividing until you have no remainder or you have a repeating decimal. So let's get started right away with the long division. The first thing I'm going to do is place my decimal point. I'm just going to bring it straight up. And now we can start our long division. How many times does 15 go into 2? 15 is bigger than 2, so we need to move on to our next digit. 15 goes into 20 one time. 1 times 15 is 15. And if we subtract 20 with 15, we have a remainder of 5. So we need to keep on going. Now I'm going to bring down my 0. 15 goes into 50 three times. 3 times 15 is 45. 50 minus 45 is 5. Once again, we have a remainder, so we need to keep on going. So I'll bring down my next zero. 15 goes into 50 three times. 3 times 15 is 45. And once again, if we subtract, we have another remainder of 5. And by now, hopefully you see the pattern. We're always going to have a remainder of 5. And after we bring down our zeros, 15 is going to go into 50 three times. So this is going to be a never-ending decimal, 1.333, with the threes going on forever. So if we divide 2 by 15, we know that the fraction turns into the decimal, 0.1333, and the threes go on forever. And notice, in this decimal, we only have one digit that repeats itself, and that is the three. So the symbol that we use for a repeating decimal is a bar. Since the 3 is the only thing that's being repeated, I'm going to put a bar over the 3. So the fraction 2 over 15 can be written as a decimal 0.13 with the repeating bar over the 3. So now let's turn this into a percent. In order to go from a decimal to a percent, you need to move the point over two units. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to move this decimal point one, two. And after we move the decimal point over two units, the point one, three, three, three becomes 13 point three repeating. And since the three is repeating, I'm going to put a bar over the three. And after we move the decimal point two units to the right, it changes into a percent. So the fraction 2 over 15 written as a decimal is 0.13 with the 3 repeating and as a percentage it is 13.3 with the repeating 3 percent. So here are some more videos with more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you are finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.